Well, new and old members of the Montana Missing Indigenous Peoples Task Force are meeting for the first time here in the lobby of Great Falls High since the Montana legislature provided a decade of funding. It began in 2019 when Democratic Representative Tyson Running Wolf of Browning addressed the need for a statewide task force to address missing and murdered Indigenous peoples. The task force objectives include reducing Indigenous missing persons in Montana while identifying family needs, creating a network of communication between tribal communities, and tracking data on missing people's reports. We've been able to recognize that in Montana, missing Indigenous people go missing at about four times the rate of other races. In 2023, the state legislature backed the task force for the next 10 years, ensuring its security and allowing its members to dig their heels in and continue the fight for justice with renewed hope. This is the kickoff today to get everyone together. We can keep people on this task force. We can keep eyes on this subject. We can keep having the same people, the expertise, Wednesday marked the first time appointed task force members gathered in person since the extension from the legislature. Where do we want to go now that we've we've gathered back together? We know that you know we do still exist and what are we going to do? Yes. We're still hearing things about not taking it serious when they have a loved one missing, distrust by the families not wanting to go to the law, local law enforcement. So we hope to be that in between um, where they feel comfortable coming to us. Iris Kill Eagle has been on the task force since its inception, but several new faces were recognized into the circle, assuring each tribal nation has a designated representative. Part of the legislation from 2023 was support for a full-time person to staff the Missing Indigenous Person Task Force. These are individuals who have been involved with the Missing Indigenous Person issues in Montana, um, in their home communities, and in other statewide efforts in the past. The task force serves best as a guardian, a way to improve the communication and recognition between agencies and jurisdictions. State of Montana, we have zero criminal jurisdiction on Indian reservations in Indian country. That's jurisdiction that belongs to the federal government. And if they decide not to prosecute, then that jurisdiction passes to the tribal government. And they're bound uh, and, and limited by, by federal law as well. 10 long years of work ahead, but the foundation is clear letting our Native communities know that they are represented and they do have someone that they can turn to to be their voice. From Great Falls, Owen Scornick Hayes, MTN News.